guys, it's Kevin. It's my review for The Wife. And what The Wife is essentially about is we center on this old married couple, and one of them, uh, the character of Joan, basically has been the ghostwriter for her husband all of this time, and he has gone on to be this massive, uh, like, huge, well-renowned uh, author, and he is receiving a Nobel Peace for Prize in... Um, you know, basically in, uh, in like, Europe or whatever, so they basically travel there, and when they get there, Joan is met by this, uh, biographer who wants to do a book on, uh, Joe, and basically he starts to get the sense that there may be more going on there, and Joan is kind of forced to re-question a lot of the decisions she's made, if it's really justified, and maybe finally, uh, you know, get out all of that deep resentment that she may have for her husband. And it really didn't disappoint me. This is a very good movie about the, uh, basically the after effects of resentment and things like that. But we're just getting into right now, starting off with the cast. And without a doubt, that is definitely one of the best things of this movie. I think really, almost everyone really does kill it here, but the standout definitely is Glenn Close. I mean, she completely dominates this movie, uh, single-handedly. What I really loved about, uh, Joan as a character is just how patient she really is with these things. You can tell very early on there are some things that do irritate her about her husband, the way that he's kind of forceful with things, the way that he doesn't really regard her all that much, the way that he likes to talk about himself, you know, the way that he's not really all that concerned about her. We hear little things that he's been through, and you can see that brewing up inside of Joan, and you're just waiting for her to explode, and Close gives a very realistic and very calculated performance, I thought. Uh, I thought she really was phenomenal here, particularly in the third act of this movie, it really did show a lot. A lot of people are saying this is her best performance, and I would have to agree. I think this is honestly the best work she has ever done. I think she is far and away the best thing about this movie, and if she isn't at least nominated for a Golden Glow or an Oscar, I'll be very surprised because I truly do think she was that great here. But as good as Close was, which, trust me, she is brilliant, uh, I do really think that Jonathan Price is... Not necessarily on her level, but still should be credit, because I thought he was very good as the character of Joe Castleman. What I really liked about Joe is that he's someone who, yeah, he's kind of a dick. And yes, he is very selfish, but he clearly does care about Joan. He clearly is trying to make things right with her. He's clearly trying to smooth things over. But at the same time, you can't really tell if he actually does. He seems to think that way, but a lot of the time, he's off talking with other people, and I really did like his performance here overall. I think these two work very well together. The lack of chemistry is very well executed, and I really did like uh, their work throughout this film. I think they both gave a very good performance. But now we get to the directing and the writing here, which I'm just going to say it right now. Uh, the directing in this film by Bajor Run, I do think he did a good job in this film. You know, there's a very sort of patient tone here. Uh, you know, the second this film starts out, you know that something is really going to go wrong. You're just kind of waiting for it. And he does a good job adding that realism to it. But... Um, if Close's performance wasn't in there, this film would be honestly kind of forgettable, because while the directing is very good here, and I did think he did a good job, there isn't really much that sticks out to me. It's fairly conventional overall, there isn't really a lot to it, but I do think that he did a good job with the directing here. The writing is really when we get to my biggest issue with the film, because there are some things I think this film does very well. Like, for example, the way we very slowly get into the relationship between Joan and Joe. Uh, the way the film starts out, you just know there's something off with these two, you know. She is kind of not as into him as she once was, and you see that he is uh, kind of taking advantage of her a bit, while she is kind of just pushing back, and you just get the sense that there just isn't something right with them as a couple, and as the film goes on, we eventually realize, you know, what those things really are, and they do a good job getting into that story, it's just the story to me felt very paint-by-numbers, they're just 
there wasn't really a lot to it, and I feel like there should have been uh, a lot more layers to this story, but there simply just isn't. Really, all that's going on is that Joe has had a few affairs, and the whole thing with her being his ghostwriter, and look, that stuff is very interesting. There's a lot of really interesting scenes with her kind of talking about these things that she did for him that she always kind of wished that she got the credit for. She did it because she did feel bad for him, and you get the sense that Joe Joan kind of did this because she herself wanted to be a writer, but at the same time, she does kind of regret doing it for him because she wishes that she could have become the famous writer that he was, and I do think that side of things is actually very interesting. I think they do a good job of really diving headfirst into that overall conflict. My biggest problem with this movie, despite the fact that, like I said, it is fairly conventional, are, of course, the flashbacks. Uh, the flashbacks here with Harry Lloyd and Annie Stark. Look, these two do a good job in these roles, but it has to be said, not only are these flashbacks completely unnecessary and very redundant, but they honestly add nothing to the film. Like, a lot of the times these flashbacks are here after we learn something. There's a conversation between Close and Price where they talk about something that they had to do and something that they kept from their son and then we proceed to see it play out in flashbacks, and this wouldn't really be a problem if, like I said, they hadn't already discussed it before, because at least to me, flashbacks in a film are meant to get us to, you know, to advance the characters a little bit, and to give us information that we didn't already know, but... The flashbacks are basically just us seeing what they were explaining, which I don't think really need to be further explained. And to me, just really took me out of the film. And it's not just because the flashbacks are very unnecessary, but they're not really used a lot. Like, to me, I don't really think these flashbacks really needed to be here. I feel like Close and Price did a good job of presenting to us what really happened, and the struggle that they really did have here because it is a bit complicated where on one hand yes joe is not a really great person he's very selfish and he doesn't seem to recognize her a lot but at the same time you can see that he does regret a lot of the things that he's done and he does finally want to kind of give her that credit and you see that he is kind of starting to wake up in that way but at the same time it's very little too late this is not really something we need to see these two really sort of demonstrate for us. I really didn't need to see it, and I know I always say show, don't tell, but this is one of those examples where I don't really think they needed to do that. I don't really think they needed to show us what was really going on, because I think it was explained to us well enough uh, that we really did not need any further explanation of that. Um, at least for me. You know, some people may feel differently, but just for me, I found the flashbacks to be really unnecessary. And the way the movie does end, to me, honestly did feel uh, kind of like it was going on a bit. Like, there's a point in this movie where I thought, okay, that's where it should end. Don't cut there. Cut there. And then another scene goes on, and... I wouldn't say it ruined the movie, but it just felt a bit unnecessary. I don't think we really needed this extra scene that was there. They could have ended it at this one shot, and they just simply didn't, and I don't really know why they had to do that. They went for a much more conventional ending, which, again, I don't think is a bad ending necessarily. It just wasn't really needed to be there. Uh, in terms of Christian Slater's character as well, while he does do a good job in this film... He really is just a plot device. There really isn't much to him as a character. He's really just there to get Joan to kind of, um, you know, f finally verbalize how she really did feel about a lot of this stuff. But other than that, he really does not have that much of a purpose uh, within this story. Again, he does do a good job, but there just really isn't much for him to do here. The cinematography, I did actually think, was pretty good. There are some shots of a CGI plane that aren't too great, but that's really just a nitpick here and there. The score, I actually really did enjoy a lot. I think it's very emotional and really does add to the weight of this story. And the editing... I will admit, the first 20 to 30 minutes of this film, I thought were a bit unengaging. I really was not that into what was going on. It is a bit of a slow burn in that sense, and... It's mainly just because, like I said, the story is not all that interesting. It's very paint-by-numbers in that way. And if it hadn't been for, you know, closest performance, I don't think this film would be nearly as good as it is. Like, the story isn't necessarily not interesting because... 
And the editing to this film, uh, I do think it is a very choppy, and I will admit the first 20 to 30 minutes didn't really engage me all that much. I just thought it was a bit slow. Uh, and that's mainly due to the fact that, like I said, other than the whole thing with her being his ghostwriter and him having all these affairs, there's not much more to the characters of Joan and Joe Castleman. You've seen the story done a lot of times before, um, but it is what that second and third act, I think, really did heighten this film overall. And honestly, the more it did go on, the more I really did enjoy it. So while The Wife, I do think, has a lot of things I do enjoy about it, uh, I don't think it's quite as amazing as a lot of people have been saying it is. Glenn Close, for sure, like, she, she's a lock. Like, if she doesn't get nominated, I'll be very surprised, for sure. Um, but overall, this is a fairly conventional film that you've seen many times before. There really isn't much more to it on a surface level, and I just kind of needed a little bit more in there. It has some flashbacks that are utterly pointless that honestly could have been cut out of the film altogether. There are some characters that are kind of wasted here and there. But overall, I did enjoy The Wife a lot. I do think it is a very solid film, and I am going to give The Wife overall a B. But over guys in my review of The Wife, let me know what you guys saw this overall, left your thoughts, and we'll see you guys in my next video, and we'll see you guys for that. Okay, bye.